Hello, what's up? Good morning, guys. My hair is literally a mess right now, but welcome to today's vlog. I'm very excited for today because today is my first day by myself after my roommate series. It's gonna sound a little complicated, but I actually do have vlogs that I filmed during my roommate series, but I'm not uploading them yet because I wanna wait until like my like roommate series like goes on a little more to upload those because I don't want to like reveal things that happen in the series and all of that just know I have a vlog coming soon where I kind of just like vlogged my week with the roommates and all of that um if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about basically I did a series on my main channel like a reality series where I um moved four people into my house for a week and there's literally bug pets right there um it was a crazy series the series is up on my main channel um episode one just went out Wednesday so make sure to go check it all I'll leave it in the description but um, none of them are here today. I'm all by myself today. <laughs> it honestly feels kind of good. I loved like hanging out with everyone, but it feels like kind of good to have a day like by myself. But what's crazy is that I'm actually barely gonna have any time by myself because um, my friend Amanda is coming into town and staying with me tomorrow. And then after she stays here for a few days, then my roommates are coming back. So it's like a whole like thing. But um, aside from that, the whole point that I was trying to get to is that this is like one of my only days alone for a while. And so I wanna have a good time and spend it well, if that makes any sense. So I just woke up right now. It's literally like 12. I haven't slept in for a while, but I've been so tired from everything that I've done this week, I honestly needed a day to sleep in. I actually had to wake up at 8 a.m. because I had to um, let somebody in here at 8 to like come pick up like all the equipment from last week. But um, I woke up to let them in and then I just went back to sleep. And now it's literally 12.03 and I'm just now waking up. <laughs> That's lovely. But right now I'm just going to make some breakfast and then I'm gonna shower, and then I have to go run some errands, and then I'm gonna come back to the house and do a haul for you guys, and I'm so excited for it because I have ordered so many pieces of clothing online the past like week and i haven't opened any of them like i literally have a whole like let me show you guys i literally have a whole entire pile of packages right there that i haven't opened like there's so many things down there that i need to open for you guys and i literally put off opening them because i wanted to save it for on camera so i'm so excited i'm finally gonna get to unbox all my clothes today i'm gonna do that for you guys later I think it's one of my favorite things to film on this channel are hauls. But um, with that, let's move on to breakfast. <laughs> I have just realized that I am out of oatmeal. There's no oatmeal in there. There is no oatmeal in here. Oh my God. No tea, no shade, but I did share my oatmeal with my roommate and now it's all gone. So I guess I'm having no oatmeal today. I guess we have to go to creation. Let's go. <laughs> Body Energy Club right now to get a smoothie. Um, I was gonna go to Creation, but I wanted to try something different. This place is literally my favorite smoothie shop ever, like Body Energy Club, you guys need to try it. I usually get their skinny PBJ smoothie. It's literally the smoothie that's like under 300 calories, I believe, and it's just so good. Like, it's actually amazing. But this time I got a different one. I got their blueberry acai smoothie, and then I took out the blueberries, I added more banana, and I got vegan protein in it, it's so good. I just wanted to make more filling than the skinny one, because usually when I get the skinny one, I'm hungry in a few hours. You guys should check out this place. It's so, so good. Like, it's actually my favorite smoothie shop. I honestly love the smoothies here more than Creation. I love both of them for different things. I don't come here as often as Creation just because Creation's a lot more, like, accessible for me. I don't even think this place is available on Postmates, so I can't even order it. But this place is definitely a good place to go to every once in a while. I'm finally home now, and I'm going to be doing my haul. I'm so excited for this because I have so many packages to open for you guys. Oh my god. Like, I'm actually so overwhelmed right now. Like, I don't know how I'm going to film this haul because there's just, like, so many items. Whew. Let's do this. I don't know where to really start. I just have all my things laid out over here. I guess I'm just gonna grab some stuff. So, the first place that I'm going to be hauling for you guys is Louis Vuitton. So, I went there last week with my friend Amanda, and I got these pair of booties from there I think these pair of booties are so 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 cute like I love these so much I've been looking for a really comfortable pair of booties recently because I love booties so much I feel like they're so perfect because they're like dressier than a sneaker but they're not like full-on heels but my problem with them is that they're always so uncomfortable and so um, Amanda has these and she told me that they're very comfortable and that literally sold me on them like right after she told me that we literally went there and I bought them and 
I am honestly like so happy with this purchase. I haven't worn them out yet, but I'm very excited to soon. And I love how there's the monogram print on the booties because it makes them a little different than just normal plain black booties that I already have. So I really like these. I honestly cannot wait to wear these. Like I am obsessed with them. <laughs> so the next thing that I got is this little race car jacket. I've always wanted a vintage race car jacket, but I could never find the one. And then I was on Instagram and I saw this red Ferrari one and I was like, it's the one for me. And then my friend actually had it and she sent me the link for it. Like, oh my God, I'm so happy I found this jacket. Like. I love this jacket so much. I cannot wait to wear this jacket with like jean shorts and just like a little crop top and I don't know like I'm so excited for this jacket. This is what the full jacket looks like. I was debating if I should get this in a medium or large but I ended up getting it in a medium because I wanted it to be oversized but not like too oversized. Like I think this jacket size is perfect. If you guys want this jacket I'm gonna link it in the description because I I had to search very hard for this jacket myself and I don't want you guys to have to do that so go check out the link down there this is a size medium that I'm wearing I love this jacket like so much like I cannot wait to wear this like I'm gonna get like the cutest photos in this oh my god I feel like I could even pair these booties with like this jacket like imagine this with the jean shorts like that would be so cute the next place I got stuff from is Karmar denim and I'm so pissed because I got a pair of jeans from there and they don't even fit me. And they were final sale. I'm so annoyed. This is so irritating because I was gonna get these jeans in a bigger size because I was like, oh my God, okay, I need to be safe with the size because like the jeans were final sale. Like I needed to make sure that I got the right size. But then I decided to go with the smaller size and now they don't even fit. This is actually so annoying. If you're wondering, these jeans are a size 25. So if you look like you're my size, don't go with 25 because they're not gonna fit you and they're gonna be final sale and you're not gonna have any jeans. Even though they don't fit me, it's fine because I'll just sell these jeans on Poshmark and I'm just gonna order them again, but in my actual size. I don't know what to do because I still don't know what my actual size is. I'll probably just go two sizes up. So the next place that I got clothing from is Set Active Wear. They actually sent this to me. So shout out to Set. But oh my God, guys, look at this set. Like it actually fits me so well. When I saw this color, I was originally a little scared I was like, wait, is this color even gonna look good on me? But it actually does like I actually really like the set like this set actually makes me want to work out right now And I've barely been working out recently. So like I should probably go do that I actually really like it and guys look it kind of like fits me well like look it makes me look like I actually have a butt Kind of, right? <laughs> Thank you, Set Active Wear. You're making me want to work out right now. <laughs> if you're wondering what color this is, it's in um, their shade Neptune. And the size that I got is extra small slash small. And I thought it would be small on me at first, but it actually like fits me very well. So moving on from Set, the next place that I'm going to haul for you guys is Dior. The first thing I got from the Dior store is this little Dior bucket hat. And guys, like I'm obsessed with this hat. The first time I saw this hat at the Dior store, I didn't buy it just because this hat is literally $680 before tax. And I was like, I can't justify spending that for a little bucket hat, like I just can't. But then I left the store and I still thought about the hat for a few days. And so I was like, you know, I just need the hat. Like sometimes things are expensive, but if I think about it, I'd rather get like one hat that I really like than like two other things that I don't like as much. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like sometimes you have to get like something that's more expensive. You just have to spend more on something that you're gonna really like. So I ended up going back and I got the hat and I have been obsessed with it. Like I just love it. It's so cute. I wanna try this on. I just really don't wanna mess with my hair, but you know, YOLO, let's do it anyway. The colors are so cute. I think it's so adorable. And then the next thing that I got from Dior is this little chain bracelet. It's just gold and I think it's so cute. The bracelet was around like 400 something. So I think it's worth it for like a bracelet that I'm gonna wear every single day. But um, it just has a C and D on it for Christian Dior. And I think it sits cute next to my other bracelet. These are the only two items that I got from the actual Dior store, but I did get two other Dior items. So I got this pillow off of Treasures of NYC. If you don't know what Treasures of NYC is, it's it's little like online vintage designer shop, but um, I always get a ton of things from there. But I saw that they had this pillow on their site a while ago and I was like, oh my God, I literally need it. I like this pillow. It goes along with like my whole blue Dior theme that I have going on with the bucket hat. And it's cool because it's like this towel material. When I start getting patio furniture, I want to put this on my rooftop on like a couch or something as a little pillow because I think this pillow would go better outdoors than indoors because of that material. But um, right now this pillow just sits on my bed and I think it's so cute. It just like adds a little bit to 
my little bedding set up. It just adds a little bit to my bedding and it's just so adorable and cute. And I love like the little Dior Monogram pants where it's just like perfect. And so the last Dior item that I got is from Poshmark. I literally just did a sponsorship with Poshmark like two videos ago, but this just shows like I, I literally use the app like 24 seven. I got this little Dior saddle bag from there. I've been wanting one of these little Dior saddle bags for a while. You have to like, you can't get them from, you can't these get, you can't get these from actual Dior because they're like vintage. You have to get them from like resellers. So I found someone on Poshmark who was selling one. And so I just got it. I think it's so cute. I like the bag and I think it's cute. I don't really know how I feel about this bag because it's just so small. Like literally look at how small it is. It's smaller in person than, it, than how it looks on camera, but like it's literally mini. And also this is like, use like it's vintage and it's kind of like dirty like in the Poshmark listing the girl said that like it wasn't in like the best condition ever but it's like kind of just brown like it's kind of a little off but I still do like the bag and I think it's adorable I just love like the pink monogram print and oh my god wait the girl literally left a dime in here and a bobby pin like oh my god <laughs> Poshmark seller is at their finest right but honestly it's fine I have the bag here that's all that matters and I bought this bag because I'm going to San Diego in a few days and I bought this pink monogram Dior bikini for my trip and I wanted a matching bag for it so that's why I got this and and I'm actually so confused about my bikini because I remember signing for the package a few days ago but I can't find the package in my house anywhere so I'm just hoping that it hasn't been delivered yet like I'm just confused on that honestly like pray for my package let's hope we find it <laughs> because I'm li literally going to San Diego in like two days and I don't know ah, what if my package is gone like I ordered this bag and like the bikini for nothing this is a very stressful haul okay but I love this bag like, I think it's so cute I can't wait to wear it with the bikini i can't wait to wear it with jean shorts just honestly like everything like it's so cute and pink and i love it so much i hold everything that i had here now i have to go to my room mm -hmm. and grab more stuff so the next place that i bought clothes from is zara so i got two jackets from zara so this is the first jacket that i got it's a little black leather jacket and I've been searching for a good leather jacket for a while now and I saw this one in Zara and I think it's perfect. It's just like plain, but it's like so amazing at the same time. It's just like perfectly like simple. I really like it and the hardware on the jacket is silver, which is really nice because I definitely do like silver on leather jackets and there's a little belt on the jacket too. I just think it's like so cute and I've actually been wearing this so much. Like I've literally worn this like five times in the last week. If you're wondering what size I got in this jacket, it is a size USA small and I'm gonna try to link this jacket down below because I feel like you guys could really use this jacket if you're looking for a good leather one and then this is the second jacket that I got from Zara I love this jacket so much like it's just so fuzzy guys look at this like it's literally fuzzy on the inside like a lot of jackets that are fuzzy on the outside are never fuzzy on the inside but this jacket is literally fuzzy on the inside it's like so soft like I just feel so soft and I feel like so plush when I wear this and the jacket is literally reversible so if you want to wear fur on the outside you can too but honestly like 90% of the time I'm gonna be wearing it with fur on the inside because I want to feel soft I think the two jackets that I got from Zara are definitely gonna be two staples in my wardrobe like first we have a leather jacket that I can wear all the time and then I have a big white fluffy jacket like I definitely made some great purchases there so the next place that I'm going to be hauling for you guys from is this clothing shop Adika Adika is this little online trendy Instagram -y, like clothing store they just have a lot of like very trendy items and I don't know everything that they have on their store like fits my style perfectly and I actually went to their store when I was in New York and then I love their stuff so I DM them and I was like hey would you guys be interested in sending me stuff and they were like yeah we'd love to so they sent me a whole box of clothes and now we're gonna open it up and I'm so 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 excited okay let's do this we have lots to open the first thing that I got is this little oversized sweater that says pure angel. And I think this is so cute. I thought this was gonna be a little longer so that I could wear it without pants, but it's fine. I could just like wear this with leggings or shorts. And if you look closely, you can see that like there's strings hanging down from all the letters. When I ordered it online, I thought that these lines were printed on, but it's actually, they're actually like hanging off. So I think that's so cool. And then to go with the sweater, I got this pink beanie. I need to like figure out exactly how to style this beanie. 
but once I figure it out, it'll look so cute. And I'd probably wear this outfit with jean shorts and Doc Martens. I think that would be such a cute look. But, you know, we're gonna have to rethink the beanie because I don't know how to put on a beanie properly. Oh my god. Oh my god, no, my hair. Oh, hats and try-on hauls are never a good idea. They just mess up your hair. But I think this sweater is very cute and it's so comfortable. I love this. I could even wear this with leggings. Like, it's just so nice. It fits very well. And if you're wondering what size this is, this just came in one size. So, if you're like my size, this would probably fit you well. And the next thing that I got from Medica is a little cardigan. I usually never wear cardigans, but I thought this was so cute because look at the back. The back of the cardigan says baby girl. Like guys, imagine me taking a photo of the cardigan like from the back. That would be so adorable. I'd probably wear this like off the shoulder too. I just think like it's a cute little jacket. Honestly, what's up with me? Like I have ordered way too many jackets in this haul. Like I usually never go for jackets. <laughs> I'm usually going for crop tops. Like, what happened to me? And also, I didn't notice this, but on the front of the cardigan, there's like angels or something on here. And if you're wondering what size this is, this is also one size. This brand isn't like Brandy Melville at all, where everything they have is one size, but I think for some items, like sweaters, they just have them one size. So don't go hating on me in the comments for only wearing one size clothing. Oh my god, did I literally get another sweater? Oh my goodness. This is a little white cropped sweater. I think this is so cute. I love cropped sweaters. I've always just been into like wearing little cropped ripped sweaters. And I, th I think this one's so cute. It's like, it's a very like soft material. It's kind of like blanket material, if that sounds right. Like it's literally so soft. Like this is just so cozy. And I could wear it off the shoulder if I want. Like I could do so many things with this sweater. This sweater is kind of like a cream color and it's so soft. Like this is literally blanket material. Like what and if you're wondering what size this sweater is it is a size extra small slash small just guess what the next item that i bought is just guess take a moment comment it down below it's another sweater <gasps> why am i ordering so many sweaters i love them though like it's not a problem i love this sweater i love things that are black and white with stripes like I think this is so cute and it's cropped and you know I love things that are cropped <laughs> whenever I wear cropped things I never actually like show my belly button I just like showing like this skin right here I know some people like wearing crop tops that are like all the way down to here and show their belly button but that's not me <laughs> in my opinion I feel like you can wear cropped things but like not be like literally showing off all your skin if you just don't show off your belly button I feel like when you show off the belly button that's when like that's when you're showing me a lot. <laughs> Don't hate me for that, saying that. I'm just expressing my opinion. Should I make a video on unpopular opinions? I feel like that would be funny. I just feel like people would hate me after. <laughs> so moving on from sweaters, the next things that I got from Adika, this little long sleeve crop top that has a little slit right here, which is so cute. And then a pair of jeans that don't fit me. <laughs> What's happening? Am I gaining weight or am I ordering jeans that are too small for me? Oh my God, normally I'm a size small in pants whenever I order them from stores like this. So I don't know why they don't, none of these pants fit me. Look, they literally like will not come in and I don't feel like I've gained much weight. Well, you know, if you wanna find these jeans, you'll check them out on my Poshmark or somehow see them on Blair. But if you wanna see what the jeans were gonna look like, they're just blue. They um, have like this design right here that's so cute and you know, there's like a bunch of little buttons right here, like five buttons, such a cute design, but unfortunately the buttons won't button. These jeans are a size small if you're wondering. So if you're my size and you're shopping for these jeans on Adika, you should probably go with the medium because you don't want to end up like this. And if you're wondering what size the top is, the top is just a small and it does fit well. So this is the next pair of pants that I got from Adika. I think these jeans are so cute. They're just like white, they're like a skinny fit and luckily they button, which is amazing. <laughs> They actually fit me. Wow. What I love about these pants are the flames at the bottom. Like, I think that is so cute. I love that so much. If you're wondering what size I got these pants in, they're a size small. I normally wouldn't pair these items together, but right here I have this high cut kind of turtleneck like black bodysuit. And I think this is so cute. I feel like this is a very cute top to wear when I'm going out. I honestly don't know what to pair with this top. I'd probably pair it with like jeans or something like that. But let me know what you guys think I should pair it with. And then as you see here, I got these plaid pants. And oh my god, I love these plaid pants so much like I can already tell I'm gonna wear these too often like they just fit me so nicely like they're so comfortable and 
I don't know, I just think they're so cute and they're also adjustable. I don't know if I love the little like black strap right here. I feel like it would have looked better if they kept it plaid, but it is adjustable, so that's a plus. And I'm not even gonna share what sizes I got anymore from Adika because I realized that I got every single thing in a size small, so <laughs> just know that. I've been trying to put this dress on for a while now and I can't figure it out. My friend has this dress, so I know what it's supposed to look like, but basically it's like a purple like cinchy dress, like look at the side. Everything like cinches in. I don't know how to put this dress on. <laughs> this is what it's supposed to look like. And it can look like that if you know how to put a dress on properly. So those were all of the clothes that I got from Adika. The last three things that I got are accessories. First, I have these pair of socks right here that just say fall in love. I just thought these are so cute. Like I'll probably use these to just sleep in or like wear when I want to wear comfy socks. And then I got this little choker necklace that's made out of rhinestones and i think it's so cute there's so many things that i could pair this with and then i got this black furry pencil case i saw this on the site and i just thought it was so cute like i needed to have it <laughs> i feel like this would be really good to put makeup in inside your purse because it's like a perfect makeup bag size because it's not too big and not too small it's perfect for on the go and then if i want to i could also put pens in here i think this is just gonna be like a little pouch that i keep in my purse and the zipper is like rose gold so cute i'm so stressed right now because it's 5 11 and i'm supposed to be getting picked up by a friend at 5 15 to go get sushi oh my god i'm not ready ah, i have so many clothes on box so the next store that i bought stuff from is tiger Myth. if you don't know tiger Myth, it's this little online like instagrammy trendy store that i shop at all the time they have the best stuff i got these black leather leggings from there and these are so cute i borrowed these from my friend taylor while we were in new york and i love them so much i literally bought a pair for myself i've already worn these like three times in the last week since i got them i just think they're so cute and you can dress them up or you could them down like they're just so nice and the hardware on it is nice like it's just perfect <laughs> next from tiger mist i got black leather shorts these are basically the same thing as the pants but in uh, the form of shorts i'm obsessed with these just like the pants i've literally worn these three times in the past week i just love them so much and with the shorts i've just been pairing a tube top with it most of the time or like a little long sleeve like i just love these so much they're so comfortable and you can dress them up or down oh my god oh my god cole's here God, she's texting me that she's here. I'm gonna say I'm coming outside one sec. I'm finishing up my haul. Oh my god, she texted me here in all caps. I don't know if that's how she texts or if she just like, ah, oh my god. <laughs> ah, I'm so late. Oh my god, it's literally 5 15. I need to be outside. Oh my god, next item, next item. We gotta go. So, next from Tiger Mist, I got this little matching blue set i think this set is so cute i love it it gives like off classy vibes i don't know i just like it i feel like i'd probably pair this with white booties the shorts are a little big on me but i can just get them tailored to fit me correctly and i think this outfit is perfect for san diego like it's just like also like a tropical vibe too you know even though san diego is not even tropical i don't know i don't know what i'm saying i'm so late i'm literally taking my last item of the haul to go but i don't even know if that's what people do I got this little tie-dye set from Mad Love USA. It's this little like tie-dye shop on Instagram where she takes like sweats and tops and like hoodies and redoes them like with tie-dye. She sent me two hoodies also, but right now I'm just gonna um, wear this set out. It's just these like pink sweats. I'm trying to figure out how to tie them right now to like make them tighter because there is a band right here. But they're just like pink tie-dye sweats with the matching pink little prop tank top. These little tank tops have been trendy recently, so that's so cute. I'm just gonna wear this right now. I'm gonna try to figure out how to do this later, but I'm going to pair this with some cute little Jumanji slides. So cute. And if you're wondering what the set looks like from afar, this is what it looks like. Okay, I have everything. Let's go. Cole's literally gonna kill me because I'm so late. If you haven't seen my roommate series, which is out now, you guys should go check it out. I'll leave the first episode link down below. Cole is actually one of the contestants in it and we're actually gonna be meeting up with Nikki right now who is another contestant from it, but you guys know her because we were friends before and we're gonna also be meeting up with Blair and we're all just gonna get sushi together. She's literally in her Jew wagon right now. We have the same car, it's so funny. Hey! Nice car. <laughs> Hey. It's so weird to be in my car right now. It's not my car. <laughs> this feels so weird. The our only difference is our interior. Yours yeah. has some black. Mine's already. Yeah, mine's like quilted. This is nice too. Yeah, it feels so cool to be in here because it's like Nikki Coco, but it's not Nikki Coco, you know? It's Baby G. If you guys wanted to see the color of the top and pants, this is a better view of it with much better lighting <laughs> where I'm not rushing out of the house. <laughs> we love a haul on the go, you know? Yeah, that's cute. <laughs> Yeah, isn't it so adorable? Like, I love this so much. <laughs> so Blair chose a restaurant. What restaurant? It's Yumi. Yumi. Yumi, or Yumi? Yumi, I've never been there. It's behind Sprinkles or something? Okay, I don't know that place. 
but I guess we'll try it out. Hello! You look like an angel. Thank, Thank you. you. Hi, that angel. Hello, Blair. Give we me got cute her outfit. You look so cute. Can I see your shoes? Blair, your shoes are so we're taking Blair got some new shoes. We're taking Uzi picture love. love. Oh, oh yes. Like <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we ordered so many rolls. I, don't I got know. those. Nikki got I don't those. Think mine are out yet. Yeah, yours didn't come out yet. Blair got an avocado Should I get roll? rice? I kind of because she's that one girl that doesn't eat actual sushi at sushi. Should I get rice? <laughs> oh yeah, we should get rice for this. We got teriyaki chicken. Guys, I've been addicted to these shishito peppers. They're so good. So amazing. So we just went to Alfred's right now. Blair and I wanted some kind of like dessert after sushi, so we got some iced coffees. Which tastes better. Yeah, we got we got decaf iced coffee because it's too late to drink the caffeine. Like I'll literally be up all night. And I didn't realize that when you get decaf coffee, they literally like burn the beans. So the espresso tastes weird. Like I always order decaf coffee and I'm like, it tastes weird. They probably made it bad today. But the guy told me, like I was telling him it tastes weird, and he's like, that's what decaf tastes like. And I'm like, oh, okay. I'll probably be staying away from decaf now. So it's way later in the night, and I've been back home for a few hours now and I'm so irritated because my laptop literally broke the touch bar is working and the keys are working but the screen won't turn on I have tried every single solution I can to fix this and it won't work and I don't have time to go to Apple tomorrow but I'm gonna have to go to Apple tomorrow and fix this and I'm just like not in the mood to literally spend four thousand dollars on a new laptop right now like that's annoying because I literally bought this laptop eight months ago like I'm so irritated like oh my god I do not want to have to buy a new laptop but I need my laptop for tomorrow because I have to post a vlog and all these things and like why did my laptop break this is so annoying my laptop can't just break on me like this this is my job I have to do work on my laptop I'm so annoyed <laughs> sorry just excuse my little mental breakdown thanks Apple right now I'm still drinking my coffee and after we went to sushi I ended up dropping Blair off and I've just been at home for a few hours trying to revive my laptop but I'm gonna go to Nikki's house now because um, we need to plan some stuff that we're working on together and so I'm just gonna head there I put my little sweatsuit on I added the little hoodie to it I honestly love this like I'm literally obsessed but um, before I go to her house I kind of want to get a snack and I want to go to Chipotle but like I feel like I shouldn't go to Chipotle because I'm about to go to San Diego and, and I need to be skinny for San Diego and I already feel bloated so I'm just like should I really eat that whole Chipotle bowl I'm having a little dilemma I don't know what to do <laughs> I really need to start working out if I start working out I won't have to worry about what I eat so much and I literally just got a month membership at this like um, workout place psycho right by me and I haven't even gone I've had it for a week like oh my god what is wrong with me I need to go work out ah what do I do but with that I'm just gonna try to solve all my life problems by drinking some water. I'm gonna try to drink this whole thing and hope that I feel better about my life. Oh my god. I low-key feel like I should go to creation to get a snack, but like no, we want Chipotle. We want Chipotle, don't we? I'm gonna feel terrible after I eat this, but ah! Oh my god, I just hit, I just almost hit the wall. So hello. It is many hours later. <laughs> I have oh eaten my, god, my Chipotle sleep. bowl. It is right there. And my food coma from it wasn't that bad. It was actually great, but I'm going to bed now. I am so tired and I just really don't want to get up to take my makeup off right now I'm in bed and I need to get up and wash my face and I really don't feel like doing it. Bring me a wipe. It's okay, I have to wash it. I don't use wipes because oh, yeah. the wipes break me out on my face. Oh, no, I just use the face wash. But I'm gonna end this vlog off here. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Make sure to give this vlog a thumbs up if you want more daily vlogs like this. And also comment down below. Leave me a tip comment. And um, check out my Instagram. It'll be in the description. And also make sure to watch my new roommate series. The episodes are dropping Sundays and Wednesdays on my main channel. Make sure to go check it out. Please go check it out if you're watching this. Like if you're watching this right now you have to go watch it like no question you're gonna love it literally you have to watch it like it's so good i love you guys so much and i'll see you on my next vlog or main channel video love you so much bye peace out good night